to start. So I'm going to briefly go over the immune system. We touched some of the concepts last class, right? Immune system. So somebody talk to me. What's the purpose of the immune system? What did we say? Purpose of the immune system is to what? Somebody talk to me. Somebody. Anyway, purpose of the immune system is what? Immune system. There you go, right? Protection, right? Protecting the body, right? So you don't want to get sick. Your immune system is what protects you, okay? We're going to talk about that. When we mention protection, our immune system protects us from viruses, right? One of the components that can cause disease, okay? So we have to have a way to defend ourselves from foreign substances, foreign invaders to our bodies, to our immune system. So viruses can compromise the health of our bodies. Let me talk to you about some specific characteristics of viruses. You know these. Viruses are acellular. Acellular. Remember, if I say it twice, more than twice, you want to write it down, you need to know it because you may be tested on it. Viruses are also do not have plasma membranes. We'll talk about plasma membranes later on, but those are the structures that are the barrier between what comes in and out of a cell, right? So we said viruses are acellular, thus they don't have that plasma membrane that cells normally have. That makes sense, they, they are acellular. Also, your viruses do not have internal organelles. Somebody tell me internal organelles. Talk to me, somebody. Golgi what? Golgi apparatus, what else? Anything else, any other internal organelles? I know y'all know some. Nucleus. Nucleus, mitochondria, okay, what else? Endoplasmic reticulum, smooth ER, rough ER, all of those are organelles, right? Typically inside of a cell. We're acellular, right? No plasma membrane, no internal organelles. What types of organisms do viruses infect? All of them. Capital A, L, L viruses infect all organisms. All organisms. Which ones? All. Okay. Last but not least, before I go to the next slide, viruses do not have metabolic processes of their own. Somebody tell me why. If you were to critically think about why they don't have their own metabolic processes, what would be your reasoning? <coughs> they have the organelle, okay. Give me a little bit more. What was the question? So the question is, viruses don't have any me metabolic processes, mm -hmm. right? Why is that? Because they come out of nowhere. Right? Because they what? They just come out of nowhere. Right? Okay, they yeah. come out of nowhere. And But specifically, what do they do? They. They. So they affect the whole cell, right? What is metabolic process? So any of these metabolic processes Things that may include something like energy production, right? You know, mitochondria is where you're going to produce a lot of your energy. Well, they don't have any organelles, right? So they don't do, they don't have these metabolic processes that they, that normal cells do. Why? We mentioned the whole cell. Why would you need it if you can get it from another source? The whole purpose of a virus is to take over something else, another cell, and use the cell's metabolic processes as its own. So they need it. That makes sense? Okay? Remember, we said it infects all types of organisms. So it'll take whatever organism that it's affecting, it'll take that organism's metabolic processes as its own. Okay? Next slide. We have four structures, four structures of a virus. All viruses have four common structures. How many? I'll ask you. Four. One, 18, 16, no, four. Metabolic, excuse me, four 
structures for viruses. Okay? First structure, genetic material. What's the genetic material that you know? DNA, RNA. Makes sense, right? Next, viruses have a glycoprotein structure. You all familiar with Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Everybody's watched that movie. So in Pirates of the Caribbean, you have one ship that overtakes another ship. They use what structure to do so? Like a ladder, right? So it's one structure that connects one boat to the next boat, right? It's some sort of like docking mechanism. Does that make sense? That's what glycoprotein is. Glycoprotein is the ladder that connects the virus to the structure it's time trying to take over, right? Which is the whole cell. Makes sense. If it doesn't attach, it can't. If it doesn't attach, the, the virus doesn't attach to the whole cell and they can't take over the whole cell. That makes sense. Now you have two different structures, right, that come next. A capsid and an envelope. I mentioned cap, right? If I put my cap on, it protects my head, my bald head from the sun so I don't get sunburned, right? It's protective. Two protective layers, a capsid and an envelope. So what are my two structures that are protective and in viruses, capsid, and an envelope, right? So I'll ask you, what are the four structures? You should tell me. Genetic material, DNA, RNA, glycoprotein, our ladder, right? Parts of the Caribbean, and our two protective layers, our envelope and our cap. See. Makes sense. We're going to go into a question now. So remember, what's the first thing we do when we come to our question? Cover, Cover the answers, right? So we aren't biased towards the answer choices. After that, then what are we doing? Writing above the question. So the question is, which of the following is not a characteristic of a virus? What are you writing above my question? What is it? Say it again. Four characteristics. So you wrote the number four, right? Four characteristics. What else are you writing? Not. So you're underlining not or you're circling not. It's very important. What else? You write the four characteristics. Four structures as well, right? What are they? Capsid. Which does what? Protect. So you wrote capsid, then you wrote protect. What else? If you hold on, if you wrote capsid and you said protect, what else are you writing from that? Envelope. Envelope, which does what? Protect. Okay, so now we wrote protect and we wrote capsid, envelope. So those are two, right? What are my last two? Genetic material, right? Which is DNA, RNA, and Glycoprotein. What do you write beside glycoprotein? Ladder. Or what else could you write? Doc. Or what else? Pirates of the Caribbean. When in doubt, use a movie. So now, these are our answer choices. Parasitic is letter A and affects all forms of organisms. B, C contains the Golgi apparatus. D, it is also referred to as a virion. Virion. C, C, C. So we have some E's, some C's. C? C? Okay. Now, so we have, so we're, so we're between E and C. Let's walk through. Answer choice A, parasitic. We talked about community interactions before. We said that parasitic community interactions, what types of signs are we dealing with? Mathematical signs we talked about. Plus minus. Plus minus, right? One side benefits, one side doesn't. Parasitism. So that seems correct, right? Make sense? A seems correct. B, what about that? Infects all types of organisms. Yeah or nay? Makes sense to me. C, contains the Golgi apparatus. Why not? 
So we stop right here, right? Because viruses do not contain any internal organelles. And the Golgi apparatus is an internal organelle, right? So we could stop here because this has to be an answer. Well, let's just keep reading on. It is also referred to as a virion. We didn't really talk about it, right? It's actually the plural word for a virus. So let's just leave right there. We'll leave that for a second. And then we'll go to all of the above, which is not a characteristic. Well, we know A and B are correct, so we know E can't be, right? E can't be the correct answer. Because a couple of these answer choices are characteristics of a virus. So if we're not choosing E, we have to go back up to C. C is our definite answer, correct? Makes sense. All right, so the answer choice is gonna be C, contains the goals of the apparatus. Next question, which of the following is not included in the structure of a virus? You just told me the four structures of a virus, right? Give them back to me again one more time. Genetic material, DNA, RNA. Glycoproteins, doc mechanism. Capsid and envelope, protective layers, right? Easy enough. What's my answer choice to this question? So we have some D's and some E's. E, makes sense, right? We just talked about this. All of these, genetic material, capsid, envelope, glycoproteins are all four structures, therefore E is the correct answer, none of the above. All right, so now we're getting into viral reproduction. So again, we said we have this virus, right? And what does, what's the purpose of a virus? What does it want to do? It wants to take over, all right? It's hostile, it wants to take over your cells. How does it do so? Let's talk about it. <coughs> First, let's go back to our structure. Before it can take over, it's got to attach, right? Through what, or through what structure? Glycoproteins, that makes sense. So first, in order to take over, you have to attach to it, right? You gotta attach, then you can take over. Okay, so glycoproteins, docking. Docking is our first, first step in viral reproduction. So now the cell says, hey, I have this structure that's, that's bound to me, I'm gonna try to handle it myself before we bring in reinforcements, right? So the cell engulfs the virus, right? Brings it inside of the cell, tries to deal with it, right? So second step is engulf, to bring inside, okay? Also, you'll see the word endocytosis. Endo means what? Inside, cyto means what? Cyto, cyto means what? Cyto, cell. So you're bringing it inside of the cell. We're breaking down endocytosis inside the cell, right? We're bringing the virus inside of the cell. Endocytosis. You have a question? Okay, so can you explain like how does the virus actually get into your body, basically? Like, well, it can. I mean, contamination. Let's say you, you you're eating some food that isn't cooked very well, mm -hmm. or you have. Let's say you didn't wash your hands and you're touching all over the table and I put my hands in my mouth. Another way for you to get a virus. Uh, somebody else has a virus and you are in contact with that person. So many different ways for you to get to attain a virus. Okay? Um, so we mentioned viral reproduction. First we have our glycoproteins, right? That help the virus to dock onto the host. So next we have our engulfing, right? Our cell takes in the virus through endocytosis. Now, what happens next? Boom, right, explosion. Viral contents go everywhere inside the cell. They explode, contaminating every piece of the cell. So the cell tries to bring it inside of it with the thought process to fight it off. And the, the virus is like a suicide bomber, right? Explodes. And so when it explodes, explodes is our next step, right? Step three. Viral contents contaminate the entire cell. So now, the virus and its contaminants go all over the cell and basically they hijack the cell. They completely take it over. Now the virus is, the, is in control of that cell. Does that make sense? That's the whole process of viral reproduction. Any questions? 